So hello everyone, it's Joby87 here and today we are going to try out the new Hourglass Veil Eye Primer. Um, I bought this from their website because I wasn't sure if it was going to go on sale on Sephora or not. Of course now it's on sale so I went ahead and just bought the um, setting spray because I wouldn't even spend like the outrageous price they would charge for it without the discount. Especially since the sale is going on right now so I was like yeah no. As weird as it is with this I wasn't um, as mad about the price but like with the setting spray and them not having this on sale yet even though i had waited and missed one of the lipsticks in my cart um trying to fool around with that but if anybody's curious by the way um i have on saucy gal from artist of couture's new line and then i put the uncensored 2.0 gloss on top of it so that's what's on the lips um anyway we're gonna use the natasha denona um safari palette just to test out the eyeshadow part and see how it works with shadows um if y'all remember correctly, in my um, older palettes, I'm still eyeing video that was inspired by um, Andrea Montanalo. I said I wanted this one and Tropic, and both of them actually went on sale, so I was excited about that. Anyway, um, let's get down here so y'all can see me and my eyes. Let's go ahead and get started. So this retails for twenty eight dollars. Yeah, this retails for twenty eight bucks, and um, it comes with how much? 0.32 fluid ounces or 9.6 milligrams um this is what it looks like it's quite small for the amount they're charging so i'm hoping it does amazing things and the nozzle on it is huge like look at that i don't know i guess i wasn't expecting it to be that big i'm gonna just go ahead and take this real techniques brush this is what the color looks like take that amount off and put on the eye and see if we like the way it spreads, so. God, I feel like my face looks so textured right now. Um, I have oily eyelids, if anyone's curious. I don't know if it makes a difference, Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and do it like this. I wish I had left a eyeshadow, in, I mean a um, setting powder in here so I could like have one eye set and one eye not set and see if that makes a difference because I know some people set their eye set requirement. You know I don't. So I might actually go do that, like do this one eye um, with setting powder, this one that I'm doing right now, and then we'll set the other eye. I think we are going to do that. So I'm going to start off doing one eye look here without it being set. And I have some rougher brushes actually to try out, so I'm kind of excited about that. I um went to their website and saw they had a 50% off one I wanted to actually try so I went ahead and got it um but this is what the inside of the palette looks like I'm trying not to do be typical and use like the blues and like the greens and the stuff at the top so I think we're gonna go for the more bottom roll the more pinkier like toned roll this one down here because we all know I'm not gonna use the middle roll like that's just not gonna happen um <laughs> so let's see um I'm gonna start off with the color what is it? Voodoo? This one right here. I'll start off with that. It looks like a dark and brownish purplish type shade. And I'm using Scott Barnes brush to start off with that. This is my first time ever using this brush. And I've had it like for a while. But, you know. Okay, so. It's blending pretty nicely. Um, but as we know, Natasha, the known as mattes are usually pretty smooth and easy to work with. So I wasn't like too concerned. Um, yeah, I remember like when I saw Mel Thompson's video on this, she was talking about how horrible it worked and the mats weren't the same as they normally are. And like she was going on and on and she was like pissed. Like she was super pissed and I was just like, oh God, like she didn't like this palette. I don't know. But at the same time, I really liked the color story of it. So I was like, I'm gonna go ahead and try it out. And as you can see, it's blending nicely and smoothly over the part of just fine. It's not have any cracks, any, you know, anything. There's no problems going on here at all. None. So, I guess blending it out with this Scott Barnes brush. I forgot the number of this. I will check as soon as I am doing blending. And this ended up actually being just more of a brown than anything else. Because I was thinking it was going to be like a little bit pinkish brown. But no, it's just brown. So, I'm kind of disappointed now. But, yeah. And this is a... Scott Barnes number 62 brush. And it's blending away. Blending, blending, blending away. And the primer is working nicely over. I'm just kind of flicking out. 
the outer V out here to add this darker color to it since we already started blending it. Now I think I'll just keep it simple and put the pink on the lid. Then I'll do something green on the other side because I want to try shimmer with this um, and see how it's going to work. So now I'm going to go ahead and take this Marc Jacobs of the Shadow Brush and go into the pink shade right here and just pat that all over the wig and then we'll have a simple little eyelid. And I'll probably put like that um, lotus color, that light pink that's at the corner in on the um, inner corner. And that could be our inner corner highlight. Right now I'm just gonna start patting this pink all over the lid. Okay, I'm liking this eye look, it's nice and simple. I have wished that was more of a dark like pink in the crease as opposed to a brown, but you know, I should have just took the orange and put that in the crease and then just put this brown on the lid and I think I'd have liked that look a lot better, but you know, we're here now, so we're just gonna work with what we've got and this is what we've got, so I'll work with it. Work, 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 like I'm here on a shadow work and I'm actually liking the way these shadows perform so I'm not having an issue like Mel did thank god but I'm telling y'all like if y'all watched that video she was hot and I've never seen her get that mad over eyeshadow but like she was pissed about this bad I was definitely empathetic to her plight because I was like, man, I spent that much money on it. I didn't pay full price for it, but she paid full price for it. And then it didn't work out the way she wanted it to either. Like she was hot. So yeah, it looks nice. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just take, what is it? Take this Alamar clean brush and just, you know, dust over this part. Just so we can see the distinction in between. I mean, so we don't see the distinction between the two colors. I mean, you'll see it, but you know, like you don't want it to look rough. I mean, that is basically is what I mean. Okay, so you know, I don't have any patchiness on my eye like she did in her video. So now I'm just take this pencil brush from ColourPop. And I'm gonna take that lotus color I told you all about and just pop that in the inner corner. Just gotta brighten it up, if you will. So, so far, the shadows perform beautifully, and so does the eyeshadow primer. So let me um, go off camera real quick because I got to go grab um, um, setting powder to set the eye with. And then we'll do this other eye set and see if it makes a difference as far as the primer is concerned. Hey right. okay, people, so I have returned with the Patrick powder. We're going to set the other eye and then we're going to we're gonna use the primer on the other eye. And then we're going to set it with the Patrick powder and see if it makes a difference. So I'm just taking another little dab like that much to rub on the eye. And then we're going to do another look with this Natasha Denona. Safari palette, but let me open it up so I have. And you see, I'm just swiping it on nicely. Well, I expected this to perform exceptionally, especially since you know they're charging such a high price point. But I mean, all fairness, it's only five dollars more than the ABH one, but I don't remember how many ounces in the ABH when compared to this. So I think I have blended it out well enough. I'm gonna turn it over to the opposite side and put some of this Patrick's powder on there and just set the entire eye. So I put that much on there and now I'm gonna pat it on the eye before I start blending out the shadows on this eye. 
I'm gonna try to make sure that this video goes up this week too. I'm trying to get all the stuff up so that way while the sale is going on, you can determine if you want to buy it based upon the way you saw it perform before the sale ends. If you're a VIP, if you're a um, rouge like I am, if you're not, um, I'm a, I'll try to make sure it goes up Monday so you can determine if you want to buy it. Otherwise, I can't really do too much else. I'm sorry. Um, so I'm gonna start off this time with a Marc Jacobs the crease brush, and um, I'm gonna take the shade savannah you take the shade savannah and blend it into my crease so it's more like a dark olive khaki ish type green i guess and i feel the difference in the way the shadows blend it actually blends a little bit smoother because i put the powder set it i felt like it tugged a little bit more when i didn't set it or maybe it could just be the brush because I'm not using two of the exact same brush when I'm blending it. Either way, it's working just fine and I'm, you know, liking it. So. He's doing an excellent job of blending out both the shadows on both eyes. So that's good. And it doesn't have to be blended necessarily perfectly because I am going to putting a shimmer on the lid as opposed to another matte so i don't have to make sure it's smoothly and perfectly blended i just need to make sure we get it on there and it has even color payoff and i feel like we're doing a pretty good job of that so i'm just gonna go ahead and take a little bit more of savannah and start trying to flick it toward the you know inner part of the eye and right here on the on the view so to make sure the colors good but the shimmer I'm about to put on the lid looks really nice and it's multi-chromed so I'm gonna use my new refer brush for that along with my other refer pencil brush for that and then that will be the eye look with the sleeves applied though so that's what it's looking like I do have fall out there on the lower lash line and down at the hair is fall out on my face but you know it doesn't matter i think this is the last eye look i plan on doing today so that's cool now i'm going to take this the hot spice cider let me swatch it on the back of my hand so you can see what it looks like um so this is what it looks like it has a nice green brownish dual comb situation and we're going to take it on this Refer number two brush. That's what it looks like. This is my first time using any refer brushes, so I'm super excited. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and start packing it on the lid here. And look at that color, like, oh my God, it's so gorgeous. I'm definitely feeling this eye look. It is a vibe. Look at that. Yeah. It, it's just a vibe. It's gorgeous. I'm going to take that same color on this refer number one. You know, sorry, number three. Pencil brush. And just add some more of that in the inner corner. So we're just going to connect what's on the lid into the inner corner. Like so. And I think I might run a little bit of... um. A darker shade on the lower lash line i don't know but i know i want to put a green pencil in the inner um rim i'm most likely going to take overdrive by um what is that um urban decay yeah i don't know why it stalls so long with that sorry and i'm just taking that same brush and just that cleaned up the other eye with and clean up this eye with it so that way it doesn't look so rough around the edges I feel like the Scott Barnes brush is a little better about flaring out the color that I use. In all fairness, I do feel like I blended that eye way longer than I blended this one, so that might be why. Plus, it's more pointed toward the end, which might have helped with that whole situation. But yeah, I'm definitely feeling these um, Terra Moon eyeshadows. They are definitely calling my name and are amazing, but yeah, as you see, 
all the shadows blended over this um primer beautifully i like both eye looks beautifully i like this palette a lot i so glad I liked it because like the way Mel Thompson was talking when I first watched that video I was scared as hell I'm actually gonna buy myself a backup of this while the sales are going on so that especially since when I went to check for my ABH one they only had the mini size they didn't have the full size and I was like well what's that about because you know um are they getting rid of it and they're just not telling anybody or like what's going on because I really like that primer and if I can't have it anymore you know this um hourglass one came out just in time but let me try to swipe some of this um shadow that fell out down here so i can try to make it look like i tried to put it underneath here or something because it it's just fall out because it's not like i don't have concealer on but yeah so okay that works um but anyway so i hope you all enjoyed this video remember you all are diamonds i would definitely recommend that you get this especially while it's on sale because it's kind of high for the price so i'm going to get myself back up now and hopefully it'll last till the next sale starts because i'm really liking this but anyway like i said get it remember you all are diamonds i'll see you guys in the next one <laughs>